Um, it's uh, although I, I will say that uh, you know I'm not not a hypo- hypocrite because I'm not a vegetarian. Um, so okay. I, I do. I, I, I do like my lamb chops, but um, no, it's just, especially coming from from Africa. We just we know from a very young age we we are aware of the bush and the wild and and conservation. That sort of stuff gets drilled into you at a very early age. Yeah. So when things started happening for me in the states, to come along my too and throw off my off with the spokesperson will be as and uh, yeah, it was play to do and it was. Uh, Lekker organisatie om saam mee te werk. Hulle doen goeie werk. Ja, ek, ek het gevind ook oor, oorsee was. In various places, especially, you know, the big cities and urban areas and so on. Mense word nie groot met, jy weet, wille plek om te gaan nie. Ons gaan mm. bosveld toe van klein af, you're mm. out, you're seeing the game, you're going to the Kruger on holidays and so on. Yeah. But, but they mense het niks, niks, like, there's no affinity for no. the great outdoors. No, no, especially in some of the big American cities, there's 13, 14 million people in New York and 11 million in Los Angeles and uh, yeah that's not that's not black for scarper down I go what do you need to show what you know doing plan B um, mm. there was a dog involved yes well, not a professional dog though not near, paid near the owner's name is Nielsie yeah and he's a golden retriever and this is our producer sound Kubus and uh, one of the characters Tim had a hond he had a, a dog that has to undergo uh, awful things and uh, um, Kuba said no Nielsie could do it and we were all like mm, I don't this know is, this is not a trained dog but prachtig to come Nielsie op stel and he was amazing he blew us all away as animals always do never I don't know who was it who was it Charlie Chaplin somebody said don't ever act with kids or animals and sure enough Nielsie came on set and he was great people are going to love Nielsie in the, in the show yeah you went to LA in when you were 28 years old mm. if you had to make that big jump now would you do it again nee nee ek sal nie nou gaan nie as ek nou as ek nou 28 was in South Africa I would have stayed here and I would have done my best to do authentic South African work that gets mm. shown there and laat die mense jou daar ontdek dier die werk hier so um, I let my da on deck. I did a movie there called Hard Target, yeah. uh, which was an action movie, and uh, I played a, a, a Afrikaans character in that called Puck. And um, I spoke with a South African accent, although a, a really a, a kind of an accent like this. <laughs> but um, never, nevertheless, it was a, a, a very famous director that made that movie. And all of Hollywood went and looked at the movie to look at the director's work, and that's when they saw this. Uh, you know, skinny white South African with this uh, Vus accent, <laughs> and uh, and to heal my work. So I would I would say that that's sort of what opened doors for me. There's me being my authentic self, and that could very well have happened from here. I think no, with with Amazon and Netflix and all the mensen wat die is as mensen lekker rol kan kry as a South Afrikaner in a ding, and it gets shown there. And you shine in it. I think people are going to call you, and they're going to they're going to hire you to come over there and work. I think that's what's also given your career the longevity that it has. Because I've also heard you say before that if if the project is good and the script is good, you will go. So whether it's a play, whether it's a video game, we just got a message in from Chris to ask about your role in the video game Boiling Point. I was very impressed to see a South African performing in a video game. Wow! Yeah. So cool. it seems like you just have this diverse kind of bag of tricks in the Ghanai. Yeah, the the great thing is the script. You get mm. the, the 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 most important thing is not that Martin Scorsese is directing it. That's very nice and it's, it's impressive. But it's the script. If the script is good, no matter what the genre, play, video game, movie, television series, as the draaiboek goed is, is daar 90% kans dat jy goed gaan wees. And um, so pick the, pick the good scripts. Fair. Can I ask then, based on that, um, is there one or two things that you've watched that you were like, oh, I would have loved to have done that one? No, funny enough, I haven't. People have asked me that. I've never... I don't know. I don't know. I've just never seen other stuff and thought, oh, I would have loved to have done that. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe because the person doing it at the time is perfectly mm. good in the part or acceptable or whatever. But I have never so that or of so something. That's nice because then, you know, you're in charge of your own creative process. Then you're not yeah. looking at it going, ah, 
Yeah, 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 I think so. Um, somebody once said, I can't remember who, I think a friend of mine, Steve Dunn, American actor, mm -hmm. said that Arnold is so egotistical, he doesn't worry about other actors or, <laughs> or other... <laughs> Other performers and misschien is hij raag. Ik weet niet, want ik worry niet voor jou of iets niet. Weet ik wel, je moet goed wees, maar ik worry niet dat jij beter is als ik niet. If you're great, that's amazing. It's it's good for the movie. We got a very cheeky voice note in here. Want mm. Anna little baie gedoen nee. Ja, we talked you. about theatre, we talked about stage, we talked about movies and TV shows and so on. Um, someone has a very specific sort of request. Uh oh. Hi, Robin Rose. Your demonic a rich, creamy voice. I can see this is a whole day. Listen now. Maybe you should think about an audio book to do. And as I did it already, what are books? I would so like to hear a whole day to listen to the demonic system. What is her name? <laughs> Janine. Janine. Hi, Janine. <laughs> um, nee, ek het nog glad nie een audioboek gedoen nie. Uh, so skryf een en, en stuur dit vir my. Gaan dink een wonderlijke story uit en dan uh, kom ek na jou huis toe en ons rekorde audioboek. Luister, ek weet al klaar wat een type boek Janine gaan skryf en is nou 2 meter per 6, so ons kan nie daar oor praat nie. Arnold, wat een absolute voorrecht om jou hier by Robin Ross te hee op Jacaranda FM. Plan B begin 26 maart om 8 uur op Kijknet. Skakel in, it looks fun, it looks just so well produced and I don't think it's something anyone wants to miss. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Arnold, thank you for your time. Thanks very much, guys. The Drive with Robin Ross. Jacaranda FM. Most people give.